Hello and welcome to In The Lab. Now today I'm going to show you a very simple experiment that you can actually do yourself at home. Now this experiment is all about diffusion, it's about a petri dish, it's about a beaker of water and best of all it's about some skittles. Now make sure that you don't eat the skittles until after the experiment if you still want to eat them. So come in a little bit closer and I'll show you what we're going to do. Here's our beaker of water and here is our petri dish. I'm going to place the skittles very carefully around the edge of the petri dish. There's one, there's two. I want them in a nice spaced out arrangement and you'll see why in a little bit. Let's move them a little bit further out. Now when I pour the water on, part of the sweets are going to diffuse into the water. Not all of the sweets, just the bit of the sweets that give the colour to the sweets. So the purple colour is going to diffuse out into the water. The chemicals that give the red colour are going to diffuse out into the water. Same with the green and the yellow and the orange. And hopefully we're going to get a nice pattern when you see what happens when these things diffuse. So if we're ready, I'm going to pour it in. I'm going to go right in the middle so the water reaches it at the same time or just about at the same time. Now it should happen fairly quickly. Now let's have a look at what takes place. If you look just around each one, you may see, I can see it already, a very slight amount of diffusion happening. You can see around the red one there, the green starting to diffuse, so is the yellow. A nice pattern there. It's that fast. This is how quickly molecules diffuse. And as you know, diffusion does happen in the air too. If you spray an aerosol can, deodorant or anything like that, you can smell it at the other side of the room because the molecules diffuse through the air from where there's a lot of them to where there's a few of them. That's what's happening here. These colour molecules are diffusing from where there's a high concentration of red or purple to where there's a low concentration, which is everywhere else. Now, as you can see, we have reached the point where the colours have diffused out, but they've actually started to push against each other. The colour molecules are colliding, bashing against each other at the points where you see these lines. They're not really able to go any further. The red is being stopped by the purple. The red is also being stopped by the green. The green is being stopped by the yellow. Each one is kind of segmented and prevented from going further. However, if we left it long enough, we might see the colours starting to merge a little bit more. At the moment, they've diffused into the water and are kind of fighting against each other. It looks a bit like a pizza. It does look very much like that. If I move it ever so slightly, you can see everything moves with the water. And as I do that, I am actually mixing up all of these colours and ruining that nice pattern. But naturally, if I didn't touch the water, they would just diffuse as we saw that. As you can see, stirring it gets quite a nice little pattern. It looks like the red's taking over there. This is what a smarty, or a skittle, not a smarty. This is what a skittle looks like in your mouth after you've sucked it for quite a while. So you've just seen us have a go at an experiment involving diffusion and skittles. Now you could do this at home, but you don't have to have a petri dish. You could do it in a bowl or a plate or anything that holds water. In fact, you might want to give it a go, involving some sweets that aren't Skittles. See what you can do. We did actually set this particular practical as a homework for some Year 7 pupils. And we're so proud of their work, I'm now going to show you some pictures and clips of what they did when they did this particular practical. Let's take a look. So I hope you enjoyed those examples of what you can do to show diffusion using Skittles. Why not give it a go yourself? Bye for now.